Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at Etude number 97 from Robert Getchell's second book of practical studies for cornet and trumpet. In this video I'll perform the Etude and after that stick around for some performance tips. This etude is marked largo espressivo, meaning slow and broad and with expression. I like to go around eighth note equals 66 on this one, and in general, four bar phrases throughout. Notice the retard at the end of the first line. I like to breathe after that leading into the a tempo. Don't feel like you have to rush into the a tempo. Let me demonstrate. On the third line, we have Pumoso marked, meaning more motion or a little faster tempo. If you're going eighth note equals 66 at the beginning, I like to think of this somewhere around eighth note equals 88 at the Pumoso. Also at the Pumoso, instead of breathing at the fourth bar, I like to wait and breathe at the sixth bar to not get in the way of the crescendo to forte. Delaying my breath just a little bit and breathing right before the retard. It's perfectly fine to keep the four bar phrasing going there, but this is just what I prefer. Let me demonstrate real quick. On the fourth line, we are right back to the original tempo and mezzo piano dynamic. In the last line, we have a crescendo to forte for the climax of the etude, and then we immediately diminuendo into the ending. At the climax in measure 35, it's marked broadly. Even though we have tenuto markings, I like to firmly articulate these notes to give it a more broad feel here. Let me demonstrate. Each Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm releasing new videos, all things trumpet related, with an emphasis on trumpet performance, pedagogy, and audition preparation. If you're enjoying this content, click the subscribe button. I'm hoping to build a community here where we can help each other along on this crazy journey. Thanks again for watching, and as always, if you have any questions about my approach to this etude, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Thanks again.